How to edit B-roll and stock video in DaVinci Resolve's cut page. DaVinci Resolve's cut page is the fastest way to assemble video clips, especially when it comes to B-roll. Skim through entire libraries instantly with the cut page and a few tools tucked away inside the viewer. Before we start, I'll be using an Apple wired keyboard and I'm going to be using the F keys. Ensure you have this enabled on your Mac by going System Preferences, Keyboard, and turn on Use F1, F2, etc. as standard function keys. Once you start a new project, click the word Cut along the bottom navigation ribbon, and this is the cut page inside DaVinci Resolve. To start, I'm going to import a folder of video clips. Click the Import Folder icon inside the Media Pool. These are generic stock video clips that I'm going to use for an infographic video. Normally, I'd have to grab one of these clips, double click on it maybe to see it in the viewer, and drag around and pick the parts that I want. I'm going to show you a faster way to get through this folder. Along the top of the viewer here, the middle button is called Source Tape and give that a click. And what you see is all of the clips from my bin assembled inside the viewer. As I click and drag my mouse along the playhead, I can preview every clip inside the bin. And over in the bin, an orange highlight circles around the active clip inside the viewer. Sometimes this is called a string out of clips or an assembly edit, but it's taking everything I have in my bin and assembling it here in the viewer. I like this clip here, and I want to edit this clip into the timeline. And the fastest way to do this is if I mark the clip. So to mark the clip, press X on the keyboard. And now I want to insert edit the clip. To do that, press F9 on the keyboard. Notice how when I made my video edit, my viewer didn't change. I'm still in source tape mode. To continue viewing this footage, I can either drag my mouse on the playhead, or I can press spacebar on the keyboard and just keep watching the clips and grab them as I like them. I like this clip here. So what I can do is drag my playhead around the beginning of the clip. I can press spacebar. Where I like the clip, I press I on the keyboard to mark an in point. And as it continues along to mark an out point, press O on the keyboard. That's where I want the edit to end. Press F9. Still in source tape mode, I can keep going through this bin. I liked this clip here. Again, I'm not sure how much I want to use, so I'm going to press X and F9. Mark the clip, insert edit. And I liked this first shot. I missed this first shot, so I'm going to press X and F9. We've just scrubbed through 19 clips that totaled four minutes in duration. Now it's time to refine the edit. A lot of people ask, why are there two timelines in the cut page? And how do I zoom in and out of these timelines? To answer both questions, the upper timeline shows every clip in the entire edit, no matter how long the edit is. And the lower timeline always shows a detailed precision view. You can't control the zoom level in either timeline. This has its advantages though. For example, this aerial drone clip. I want to reorder my timeline and have this clip come first. Select the clip in the timeline, hold control and click, change the clip color. I'm going to select purple. And you can see in my upper timeline viewer, that container has turned purple. This is the drone shot and I want to move this drone shot to the beginning of the timeline. To do that, simply click and drag the container and move it to the beginning of the edit. There'll be a little bit of a snap. And when that snap happens, I can release the mouse. And I've retimed the entire timeline, moving this drone shot first. And all the other subsequent decisions are preserved. I haven't cut anything. None of the shots have changed their duration. This would be like if I cut out a clip and then paste inserted it. Looking through the timeline again. This clip here, this clip is something like 20 seconds long. It very quickly changes duration. Select the clip in the timeline and press Command D on the keyboard for edit duration. I can change the clip duration. There's a number of presets. I'm going to click five seconds and then change the five to a three. 
and press change. Reviewing this clip back though, it takes a little while for the milk to be poured. When this edit starts, I want the milk to already be pouring. So to do that, hover your mouse inside the container in the precision editor and simply click and drag the mouse. That opens up the trim tools. The trim tools in the upper left window shows me what frame I'm viewing when this edit starts and on the upper right window, what frame I'm viewing when this edit ends. So if I just click and drag my mouse, you can see I'm retiming where the clip is beginning, but it's all existing in the same container. I'm not retiming the edit. And I'm gonna select about here just as the milk starts pouring. Give that a review. And that's exactly what I wanted. What's the difference between the cut page and the edit page? Both pages can be used for video editing and both pages work in the same timeline at the same time. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna click on the edit page button in the navigation ribbon. I have the same timeline open with all of the same edits, but the layout and the tools have been changed. This is a more familiar view. It looks more like Adobe Premiere Pro or Avid Media Composer. So the cut page is just a different view. That might be where your project starts. And then if you want, you can move into the edit page to have a more traditional layout to refine your edit. And you can use any combination of both as you go. I'm gonna to end today's video showcasing that I can quickly send timelines from DaVinci Resolve's cut page into other software like Adobe Premiere Pro. Just go menu bar, file, export, timeline, and change the interchange file to an Avid AAF. That's the interchange file I like. You can also use an XML if that's what you prefer. And now inside Adobe Premiere, I can import that AIF and the edit comes in. Now, moving timelines between edit software doesn't always translate. Things like titles and effects and transitions don't always work, but it works really great for just the assemble edit. I've decided what clips I'm going to use in my edit and determined some of the timing in the cut page. That's a great place to save off an AIF and continue the edit in another platform. Um, sometimes when I'm working as a freelancer for another studio, I have to use Premiere or I have to use Avid. So I'll use DaVinci Resolve's cut page for my first pass, grabbing my B-roll clips or doing a very rough assembly because I love source tape mode so much. I just find it so fast. I never want to go back to manually dragging stuff to the source viewer again. I just think this is so cool. Do you have any questions about the cut page? Did you find source tape mode useful? Let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear about it. For OWC Rocket Yard, I'm Arthur Dittner.